Okay. Yes, we can just put a cow, and it, and it does hold the profile out, but there it is there. And this is after 18 years. Is that regeneration? I don't think so. That's just integrating another animal into to help give you this artificial profile that you cannot fool the host, and it's far better to work with this host for you. So when we look at a case like this, standard, you've seen a lot of me doing it. Here, there was only 46 ISQ, and I grafted it, and guess what? He wanted to go back to America. It's six weeks. So I've raised it back, and this is the new host regenerated bone at six weeks. Six weeks, not six months or nine months or five years, what we used to be told years ago. That's not the way the body works. That's not the way doctors work. That's not the way orthopedics work. They understand how, how the body heals and how it regenerates bone. So without using a membrane, I can get that at six weeks from 68 so I can load. And here's the case at 18 months loaded. Yes, it's an adequate outcome. Why? Because I've done less work. Now he lost the other tooth. You can see internal resorption and again internal resorption. So we had to take the other one out after being loaded two years. So remove the other one and here's the site that I grafted two years before. So it's completely host bone now and there's no residual. People sometimes say, but is that a graft? No, it's not. It's bone in the shape of an extra particle and I'll show you the histology as to why that happens. So there it is there and we've got an adequate outcome. So we can look at a case like this. We've got a root fracture. You can see we're going to remove the tooth, clean the site very well. I'm going to soft the graft now for improved success. I like to rather take the tooth out, let it heal for three weeks, then soccer cross, and then you'll get 99% success with your soccer cross. If you do it this way, especially on the uppers, there always can be an opportunity that you may lose in some patients the graft material. So, but we've done it this way just to show it during this way. We've just grafted the ethos and we've suited it with a, 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 a collagen sponge just to help with the quad. And here it is two weeks post-op, four weeks, and you can see it's healing by secondary intention over a stable graft material. We then open it up in 12 weeks, and there it is. Now we've kept the dimensions, you can see that's the bone, it looks very solid. We've taken a core sample to analyze it because we want to know what's inside. We cannot just say that bone by looking at it. The only way we can do it is be scientific about it and use histology, histomorphometry from the world's leading histologists. We use Heine Nagurski, we use Harry Prasad in America. We want the truth. I don't want to just put something in and say, oh, that's bone, when it's not bone, uh, or when it's only 10 or 15% human bone. I want to have 50%, 60% human bone on the side. And here we go, looking at, this is done by Heine Nagurski at Freiburg University in Germany. And you can see, what we have is a high percentage of our own bone, and that's histomorphometry looking at it, and again, that's, that's just the core. So when we look at it, and why do these particles turn over and look like bone, we can see the bone growing into the site, and into the graft particles. So with time, it literally takes the graft particles to turn over fully to the patient's bone. There you go, we've taken Ostel 74, I like using silver plugs, I'm using screw it's an antibacterial effect and it's simple, it seals the, the screw hole very well. And here is the case, and as you can see we've had an adequate outcome, and there it is two years later. So we've got a reasonable outcome and we know that all of the tissue in here is only the patient's own tissue. That's actually what the patient wants, but funnily enough, that's what the host biology wants as well. Now when we compare this with a similar study, although that was done over six months, using the same histologist, we see the difference. This is the new host bone when we're using a synthetic and some of the graft, which will turn over to bone. Whereas if we're using a xenograft, which is the green, it's logical. If you run this by your kids, they would say, yes, daddy, if you put a whole lot of bricks in there, there's less space for the bone. And yes, if we use fillers, it is easier to use fillers if you've got a hole and you want to, you put a lot of filler in there, it's easier because it fills the hole, but you're not filling it with what you need, which is the patient's own bone. Just another socket graft, you can see a lower one, big defect, fucking wall missing, missing the keratinized tissue. Same procedure, that's just research that we have. 
on healing by secondary injection. And you see, it looks like we're losing the drop. We're not. At three to four weeks, what happens is the calcium sulfate element resorbs away. What this does is it creates space for further vascular, neovascular ingrowth and improved antigenesis. So when we look at it at 10 weeks, you can see it come back up, and there it is at 10 weeks. We now have a nice buccal plate, so we've got nice keratinized tissue. Have I done anything? No, I was actually at the beach for that period of time. So I was enjoying myself, and I was letting my patient's body do all the work for me, which is brilliant. We take the core sample right from the center because we know these materials are osteoinductive. So we're going to get the bone, the best bone, not near the old bone, but right in the center. Okay, and there it is. That's the entire core. It's about 55% new host bone at 10 weeks from the center of that, that hole.